Pixie. Now we know all about the three gifts that baby Jesus got. Yes, and I'm so excited to know that the three gifts represent royalty, deity and humanity. But we forgot to ask about the wise men that brought these gifts. So what are you waiting for? Come on, let's go and ask Abunkar. Hi Abunkar. Hi. Mercy Hi, Betsy. Abunkar. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? So it seems your guys are very happy in the morning today. Yes. yes. Huh? And we have a lot of questions for you. Oh, is there? Yes. Yeah. So we want to know more about the wise men. Wise men? Yes. Okay, so first of all, you were all thrilled about the gifts? Yes. Yes. Right? Yes. So, you know, that's that's very important, you know, um, um, because gifts, uh, it's not a simple um, way of a gesture or, you know, it's a, not, not only a token of love, but it has a big meaning in it. Yes. Right? What, what it represents, the three gifts? Royalty, Royalty deity, huh? and humanity. Wow, so nice to tell that, right? So, these gifts were brought by wise men. You know, the Bible says, um, Matthew 2, 1, we read, Now, after Jesus was born in the Bethlehem, Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem. So the wise men came from east. east. So the, only the um, the direction was mentioned, not the uh, exact countries. Uh, so there are many theories over there uh, over this um, uh, about this wise man, hmm. right? So the generally east represents the rising of the sun, yes, right? Yes. Generally the sun rises yeah. in the yes. Yes. east, the right? In the east. So. Um, Later on, the scholars were able to find out the names also. So while I was reading this, I was so excited because there is a very, very vital information. All right. So initially, they thought that wise men may be multitudes, 12, hundreds or many. Some they used to tell they are three people because three gifts were present. Huh. You know, but we don't know the exact count. But later on, the scholars identified the three wise men. They, they, they are astrologers. They are very good in science. And they seem to be a part of a kingdom. And some of them are king also. Kings? King. There are th the three, uh, you know, the three wise men uh, seems to be like one came from the Persian, en um, Persian Empire. His name is Melchior or something they call, right? The second one is, I was so excited because he came from India, it seems. From our country. In, 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 I was so excited. This, you know, from India, this wise man, because um, later on, Apostle um, Thomas, who came to India, he has recorded this in his book. Oh. So, Casper from India he was one among the wise men. And the third one, the other one, he came from the Arabia, it seems. So, all these three wise men, or the, you know, they are king, or the um, people, those who are well versed in astrology, they studied the signs of the heaven, especially the appearance of the star, and they all gathered together um, at Jerusalem, following oh. the, the star. Initially, they haven't started, it seems, oh. but it's so beautiful and divine that all the three came from different, uh, uh, from the yes. eastern part, right? It, it starts from Middle East to India, it seems, yes. the east region, right? They all came to the place of the birth of Jesus Christ. But before that, they used the knowledge. That's the thing, right? It's, it's, that shows, right, the human tendency. Normally, we use our knowledge first, right? Whatever we yes. know, right? We first use that. So they use the knowledge. Since they acknowledge the star as a birth of a king, they went to Jerusalem because there the king yes. resides the king. and the palace is there. And they huh. inquired in the palace. That's the mistake they made first initially. But later on, they decided, okay, there is no use in inquiring in the palace. They started again the journey by following the, the star. star. So interesting, right? Yes. Yeah. So Persian, Babylonian, 
Indian origin all together coming from different directions worshipping Jesus mm -hmm. and that's why Jesus is God for all the nation he is not for God of particular people particular group a particular color or race he is God for all the beings especially humans you know that's why Jesus came into this earth and this reveals the great plan of God Am I, is, is it not exciting? Yeah, it's very I'm exciting. I'm so very excited excited. about this thing. That's what we see, you know, everybody in this world will be given a chance to know about Jesus. In whatever field you might be, there will be a chance to know, identify who is Jesus in your life and to relate your life with Jesus. The wise men they came from different different parts of the eastern region but they all gathered together in Jerusalem because a star guided them and today my dear friends you might be in any part of the world you might be dejected or you might be rejected or you might feel high you might feel low or you might have different social status it doesn't matter whatever it is every human has a soul and each soul has a connection with Jesus because Jesus is the lover of our soul and God bless you